metres, nowhere near as damaging as running at 10,000, of course. And that looks like, is that Abuya who's just stepped off? That's Abuya, and uh, it doesn't look as though, uh, well, he started to run again, not quite sure why. He had a little look behind to see whether he was last reali realised he wasn't. So, Bikili at the front, Bren, then Kipchoge and Laga, the big three right at the four. And Lag Laga not running great in the 1500 metres, I wonder if it's going to be as good today, or better today, I mean. And on the outside there, Kipchoge, he's, as we look at Abuya there, and Kipchoge, he hasn't had a race coming into this one. Now he's on the shoulder of Kenanisa Bikili. Mo Farah is in a good place, moving up onto the outside. He needs to take closer order, and if he gets a run on the last lap, Mo Farah's in a great position now. He's finally worked himself so that he's close. He's yards only behind the great Kenanisa Bikili. There goes Bikili. He's going to hold it and hold it, and he's going to try and sprint and hold this race right from the, start, right from the front. There goes Mo Farah on the outside, he's got chances now. He's really quick, Mo Farah, but the three of the front are talented and Bekili is coming under a little bit of pressure. Farah's in a good place there. Can he strike from there or is he going to tire from there? What a battle we have before us now. 200 metres to go, Kananisa Bekila kicks hard from the front, Lagat is still there on the inside, Kipchoge looks as though he hasn't got too much left, Kipsiro of Uganda and then Qualia, Lagat the big threat, Kipsiro coming on the outside, Mo Farah just starting to disappear, but here we are, the big battle for the title, the defending champion Lagat, 1500 metre speed against 10,000 metre strength, who's going to win this? Right to the line, Bekili's going to get it, strength outlasts the speed, Bekili is the double champion. What a race from the two of them. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I thought just for a moment that Lagat had the pace, but it came down to strength and guts and determination and, of course, no mean ability. Kenanisa Bekele, the double gold medalist. Mo Farah, we think, seventh or eighth. Seventh place for Mo Farah. I'm not sure he was at his best today, Mo, and he maybe would have enjoyed if you'd said beforehand this is going to come down to a last lap sprint, but that's what it was, Bren, and everybody became involved. Lots of athletes had a chance with 250 metres to go, but they couldn't get past this man. You know what, Bren, it always reminds me of a 5,000 metre Olympic final. Lassie Vera in 1976, when they were queuing on his shoulder to get past, they were queuing on the shoulder of Kenanisa Bekele, and they couldn't get past him. And I'm still queuing. I was queuing then, Steve, I'm queuing now. But this was a great, great race. That was a fantastic performance by Lagat. And we're looking at the split times, and they are pretty incredible. The race was slow and slow, and then gradually just began to pick up. And then we saw a really honest race, a true race. And we looked at the champion trying to defend his title, and there they go into the up to the bell on the inside Kenanisa Bikili he's been leading for a couple of laps he's been gradually screwing the pace up 63 62 then 61 and now he's trying to hold them from the front he's kicking again every time he's challenged he seems to have a response but the talent is already there at the front. Mo Farah is in about sixth or seventh place. And as they're operating down the back straight, that's putting Mo Farah under pressure. They're really sprinting flat out. Elliot Kipchoge is trying to get past. Ken Lisa Bakili won't let him. Lagat drifts through on the inside. He's extremely lucky with that one. And even more lucky that his countryman, Elliot Kipchoge, gives him a yard or two there. And now into the straight. He's looking confused over his shoulder. What's he going to see? And what he sees is the 1,500-metre man. 